Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing the best of beauty of 2017. I'm just going to share with you my favourites of the year and how I found them throughout the year. I discovered some at the end of the year, which is just a bit. I'm sure I'm going to love them this year as well. If you're interested, just keep watching. Um, please make sure to subscribe because after 1000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway and I'm not far off now. So if you could just hit that red button, it will mean so much to me. I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through my drawers because I section my drawers. So I'll just go through the drawers and show you what I loved in 2017. So the first drawer has my face products and I'm just going to share with you my ultimate concealer. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection in the shade Fair. I just love this concealer. It's just full coverage. It's not that drying and... Yeah, it covers up my blemishes and I'm happy with it. And I've gone through about six of them. So yeah, and I have more to go through. I'll always stock up on these. They're my go-to concealer. Okay, for foundations, I discovered them at the end of the year. So the first one is this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 02 Natural. And I love this, especially when I have a fake tan on because it's quite dark for me. As you can see, I'm pale. I love it. It's literally conceal and perfect. It is what it says. It's foundation and concealer. It's very full coverage. It's very affordable. It was £11 off Beauty Bay. I can't, I can't fault it. It's, it's just amazing. I love it. And it's not drying. It's not too oily. And yeah, I love it. And the other foundation is the... Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and I'm in the shade Panna Cotta. I honestly, this is a full coverage foundation. I'm wearing it right now. I'm a fair, I, I have fair skin and I'm pale AF at the moment. So um, I'm the shade Panna Cotta if you're interested. It is very full coverage. I've done a blog post on it. So I'll link that down below just to tell you a bit more information about it. So these were my two favourite foundations of 2017. Okay, for setting powder, I am choosing the RCMA No Colour Powder and this, I've had this since summer last year and I have, it hasn't even gone down. So I would recommend it just for the size of it and also that it just, no flashbacks and it's just easy to wear and it's not drying. So I recommend this setting powder. So next up is my eyeshadow and eyebrow draw. It was the Morphe 35O palette and this palette has been really good for me and um, it just looks like that. For £25, I think it was £25, it's such a good value and honestly I've just been using around about these shades and these glitters here um, but yeah it's a beautiful palette and just natural so if you want a big go-to palette I would recommend this and this has been my staple for um well since I got it really I haven't really gone into another palette of mine so this has been really good and good value for money as well. My go-to eyebrow product is definitely the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. My spoolie broke. I've used about three of these. Oh, they've, la they've lasted me such a long time and I know that these will be a favourite every year. Um, but yeah, I've got a new one now so um, I won't be running out soon. I always stock up on these because I just can't deal without it. This is my go-to eyebrow product no matter what year. <laughs> and just a new discovery I have and I do have it in the inner corner of my eyes and it's the Stilla Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and it's in the shade Gold Goddess. Honestly, it is so beautiful. Um, if you're into like a glittery eye like this, I would highly recommend you getting one. I only got it Christmas and it's in my 2017 best <laughs> products. So that says something and if this runs out, I'm definitely gonna go and get another one. Okay, so I have a different drawer um, for 
mascaras, eyeliners and eyelashes. So um, I have two favourite mascaras this year, well last year, and um, one of them is the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Honestly at first I hated it but once I got used to it it was really good and I only had it in a travel size with my cohorted subscription box. It's really good so um, that was one of my favourite mascaras. The other one is this Lancome Monsieur Big <laughs> um, and I had a mini version of this and I tried it out and I loved it so much that I got myself a bigger one. I can't fault with this, it just it's good. No mascaras, they're either good on you or they're bad. So on me it's really lovely and it just spreads the eyelashes out and makes them look longer. So I love that and I love the Too Faced one as well. For eyeliner it's got to be the tattoo liner from Kat Von D in the shade Trooper and that's a travel size and honestly it's still got loads left and it's just amazing. It is just a pen like that um, and I'll definitely be purchasing a new one when this runs out. For eyelashes, um, I'm not keen on spending that much on eyelashes but um, I found these on eBay, believe it or not, and these are Vivi's collection um, and they just look like this and they were quite cheap on eBay and um, these are what I'm wearing now. They're really good. I've had lots of compliments on them so if you if you don't want to spend a lot of money on eyelashes then I would recommend looking on eBay and looking for these ones. I will definitely be purchasing more. So the highlighter I've been going for the most this year is the Mary Luminizer from the Manizer Sisters palette and it's this one here and I just think it's the most suited to my complexion. Um, I'm wearing it now, I'm not sure if you can see it. it. For fairer skin I would recommend this. It's been really good for me and I've gone into that quite a bit uh, last year. And also I just want to point this one out. It's the Goddess of Love Triple Bake Highlighter and it's from Superdrug and it looks like this and it was only 4 99 and honestly it's so good. It's a dupe for the Too Faced one. It's lovely and that goes with my complexion as well so I'm happy about that. 4 99 I would recommend anyone getting it. My favourite lip products, um, I'll start with lip liner. So I've had this for over a year or maybe more even and it's the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner. Primrose is the shade um, and you just um, like a pencil basically and it's so lovely and creamy and I would just recommend anyone getting this Marc Jacobs lip liner. Once this runs out I'm definitely going to be buying a new one in a full size because it's stunning. Also just a lip pencil, oh my god. <laughs> Can you see? I haven't even sharpened it. It's the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Whisper. And honestly, it's a lovely nude shade and it dries down to a matte finish. And honestly, it's so nice. So those two together go really well. That was my favourite pair for the lips. And I'll just show you my um, favourite liquid lipstick. It's got to be the Dolce Luscious Lip Stain. And this is in the shade 619. So this is lovely. It's so lightweight on the lips. And you couldn't even feel a thing once it was on. And it dried down lovely. And it was literally like you had nothing on your lips. And the shade was really nice to go with like a red sunset kind of colour eyes. So I loved that. If you're wondering what's on my lips today. Uh, it's this one and it's Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and that's in the shade Sogno? Sogno? Yeah. Okay, so I have a few items of skincare and hair care to show you. So first up, I have bought my second one of these and it's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. A gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping skin. I would jump in the shower put this all over my face. Um, it does dry my face out, I do admit. I just put a toner on and it's fine. It's so good to get makeup off. It just gets everything off, seriously. This is my second one, so I'm just finishing up the first one. 
and I'm going into this. I highly recommend this to take your makeup off in the shower. Another staple to take makeup off is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and I use this after I've wiped my face with a simple wipe um, and then this just gets rid of every other dirt on my face basically. After a wipe you'll be surprised how much makeup is still on your face so I use this to get rid of every last bit of it um, and it's really good and I've used this so much I've got a large bottle in there even for sensitive skin yeah it's just it, it, it feels like water basically it doesn't sting your eyes or anything and yeah I highly recommend it. Another Kiehl's product there's a few Kiehl's products in here um, but it is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream and this is the moisturizer and honestly there's nothing left <laughs> and I love it so much it's so hydrating and just lovely on the skin um, so you can get one with SPF in it, but um, this hasn't got it, but it's really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna recommend it a lot in this video, I do apologise, but it's so good. This is also new, I got this Christmas and I've used this much already, and it's the Pixie by Petra Glow Tonic with 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. Actually made my skin a lot better. I used to suffer with really bad like acne blemishes here oh it's leaking this has been my go-to I haven't not used it since getting it and I've seen a massive improvement in my skin this was good and I got this actually as a duo set for Christmas this is what came with it it's the peel and polish resurfacing concentrate by pixie and this makes my skin so smooth, honestly. It's like it gets rid of a dead skin. These two together have made a massive improvement to my like acne blemishes. So if you suffer from acne and blemishes and all that jazz, then go and check these out because they are so good. Another thing I wanted to try last year, but I only got to do that in in the summertime maybe? Um, it's the Mario Badescu drying lotion. You just concentrate on your bigger blemishes if they're just um, appearing or if they're out. Just pop it on at night time and then wake up in the morning and the bump is gone down quite a bit. If you get a blemish and you want to act fast then I would recommend this Mario Badescu drying lotion. Just a boring one for you, it's deodorant and this is the Dove Go Fresh in pear and aloe vera scent. Oh my god, I've never smelt something so good in my life and I love it and I'm definitely gonna buy another one. And finally for hair care, when I come out from the shower I use quite a few different oils but this one standed out for me in 2017 and it's the Queen of Oil Hair Repair Formula. Hair loss prevention, hair thickening, hair rejuvenation and hair thickening is what I wanted because I r had really thin hair before and honestly I think I think my hair's grown and gone a bit thicker as well Um, I've still got about that much left of it actually Queen of Oil sent me some products to try out and this was one of them they also have skin oils as well and I've been using that um, just between all of this skincare. I really enjoyed the hair repair one um, and I actually recommend this brand because you know sometimes when you put oil in your hair and it just sticks to it straight away and it looks greasy well this isn't this doesn't do that I've been using it constantly and it's really good and the last product is hairspray and this is the living proof Style Lab Flex Shaping Hairspray for damp or dry hair. The reason I love this so much is because of the smell. Oh my god, I've never smelled hairspray like it before. It is honestly beautiful smelling. <laughs> it's running out. Oh. I would definitely buy a new one. I'm not sure. I think Leaving Proof is quite expensive. I got this in a cohorted subscription box. I'm really wanting to buy another one because it smells so good and it's really good as in it gets your hair like extra strong hold and everything so it's really nice and the packaging is just stunning. It was my last 
favorite beauty product of 2017. So guys, I hope you like this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget after 1000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.